okay so good morning students so today another topic of uh, lymphatic system okay so another topic of lymphatic system here the name of the secondary lymphoid organs so what are the topic name secondary lymphoid organs here the secondary lymphoid organs so before going to the secondary lymphoid organs so already we are discussing about the yesterday class the primary lymphoid organs so again i repeat again the what is lymphatic system the what is the particular lymphatic functions of the lymphatic system here we know uh, primary functions so lymphatic system it is a help of the circulation and along with the the immunity booster of uh, whenever the illness of human beings okay so and also the, the lymphatic system they are the it is a common uh, thing of lymphatic here the drainage drainage system so whenever the um, uh, useful from the different type of the nutrition after the useful here the unwanted waste material can supply or the, they can travel into the help of the lymphatic system along with the uh, circulation purpose okay and uh, this topic here the secondary lymphoid organs so here the secondary lymphoid organs involvement of the so there are the three types of the secondary lymphoid organs so first one the lymph nodes and second one lymph uh, spleen and the third one the mealt which means it is a okay so mealt so mealt is the meaning of the mucus associated with the lymphoid tissues okay so first is, first of all the, the secondary lymphoid organ first is spleen secondary lymphoid node and third one mealt mealt which means it is a what is mean by mealt mealt is the mucus associated with the lymphatic tissues okay so here the secondary lymphoid organ for the introduction okay simple secondary lymphoid organ for the introduction so here the introduction okay so introduction about the secondary lymphoid organs they are the it is also called a, the peripheral lymphoid organs it is it, it is also called a peripheral lymphoid organs and these are small during the birth it is a it is a very in the small and uh, along with the, the birth and uh, gradually can develop it as a age so whenever the starting with the human being and the uh, human being they are the birth of uh, secondary lymphoid organs present in the human being under the body which and also here the birth to the gradually can development as a age so okay and also the lymphoid organ present throughout the life that is the secondary lymphoid organ is the present so present to throughout of the life so when our the die here the uh, close uh, uh, out of the lymphoid organ is put and next the lymphoid provides the lymphoid organ provide to the space interaction lymphoid organ can provide to the a uh, place into the interaction of the uh, lympho lymphocytes and with the antigens okay so it is a the providing the space here the providing the space which is the between the which is space between the region it is the lymphocytes with the antigen lymphocytes and with the antigen can provide into the interaction of the space and uh, it is a uh, interaction about the secondary lymphoid organs okay and uh, they are the secondary lymphoid organ three types of the the first one the spleen second one lymph node third one it is a the mucus associated with the lymphatic tissue mucus associated with the lymphatic tissue so let us uh, one by one we are discuss so first one it is a lymph node okay lymph node okay or node okay here it is the present in the lymph vessels here the present in the lymph nodes of the lymphatic system okay so the lymph nodes it is a present in the the lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels of the lymph system and it is a lymph node has a, a gray a grow of the side of the called as the villus here the villus so here this is about the this is the structure of the human lymph lymph node the presenting of the or representation of human being uh, lymph node here the especially villus and there are the vein and artery here about the enter into the enter to the uh, root for the enter to the antigen here the antigen there are the lymphatic or uh, secondary lymphoid organ can interaction between the interaction between the lymphocytes and the antigen so there are the root for the 
interaction are entered to the antigen region here the cortex region as well it is a medullar region okay next <coughs> next the many of so many so different type of the effort of the lymphatic system from human being immune system that the help of the immune immune system that the lymphatic vessels can carry to the lympho lymph into the lympho node to the only one the apparent lymphatic vessels it is called of the out of the region okay and also the every lymph every lymph can know every lymph node covered with the, the fibrous capsule every lymph node can be <coughs> covered with the fibrous <coughs> every lymph node can cover with the, the fibrous capsule and the capsule the transfer uh, transfer into the the private pillar transfer into the private pillar so here the human lymphoid this is about the this is the structure of the human lymphoid node the every human lymphoid node covered with the the fibrous capsule which uh, fibrous capsules then transfer into the the trabecula so under the trabecula it is a three region under the trabecula it is the three region or under the lymph node having of the three region three regions so first one here it is a the outer cortex here the outer cortex and second one second one medullary the parallel cortex so first one outer cortex and second one medullary the parallel cortex and third one inner medulla third one inner medulla i repeat again under the the trabecula of lymph node here the three region the so first one outer cortex second one the median pair and cortex and third one it is the inner medulla region inner medulla region okay and this is about the the secondary lymphoid organ of the the first part of the lymph node okay na lymph node and next second one of secondary lymphoid organ of second position it is the name of the spleen okay it is the name of the spleen here it is the spleen so it has been they are the a uh, b shape it will look like a b shape room and there are thicker and a reddish color a thick reddish color of the structure and located on the abdominal cavity to the uh, abdominal cavity of the region and also here the way of the contains they are the the spring the way of the containing of how lymph node filter to the antigen of lymphatic system or lymph node the same way the spring a major role in the filtration of the antigen into the circulation so here it is also which means it is a combined to the lymph node the secondary position of the help of the lymphatic system or circulatory system that the secondary position here it is the name of the spleen mari first position evara antu cheptu mari ikkada circulation system ki second organ lo unde unde evaithe three regions unnaya three regions lo manam first region lo lymph nodes antaru second region lo manaki emanta spleen antaru third lo mlt అని చెప్పేస్తుంది అంటే ఈ లింప్ నోడ్ అయినా స్ప్లీన్ అయినా లేకపోతే ఎంఏఎల్టి అయినా సో దీస్ త్రీ ఆర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ సపోర్టింగ్ ఆర్ ఇన్వాల్వ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులేషన్ ఎలా నిర్తిది ఆర్ హ్యూమన్ హ్యూమన్ ఇమ్యూన్ సిస్టమ్ ఓకే అండ్ హియర్ ద స్ప్లీన్ దే ఆర్ ద సేమ్ వే ద స్ప్లీన్ ఎ మేజర్ రోల్ ఇన్ ద ఫిల్టరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది యాంటిజెన్ హియర్ ద ఫిల్టరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది యాంటిజెన్ ఆఫ్ సర్క్యులేషన్ ఆర్ హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులేషన్ and also a spleen a particular performance in the three important things so they are the first one distraction of age bar okay distraction of the air bar into the red blood cells distraction of the air bar into the red blood cells it is called, it is called the gradient of rbc gradient of rbc which means distraction of age bar red blood cells okay age bar of red blood cells and the second thing of important a performing of the spleen it is a the synthesis of rbc so what is the second position or second importance of the performance of spleen is the synthesis of rbc okay synthesis of rbc beside the bone marrow where it is occurring it is the beside of bone marrow in emergency region or emergency position or emergency time okay and the third one of spleen performance of the important thing here the third one filter rate okay in filter rate of antigen in filter rate of antigen in filter rate of antigen is present in the blood and involved it in the humoral and cell mediator of immunity okay okay so what is uh, in, in, uh, humoral and uh, mediated immunity they are the acquired immunity okay so they are the acquired immunity under the types of the humor 
are immunity and immunity immunity is a well known. Okay. And uh, the spleen is the first the first performance of the important is the destruction of the age border red blood cells and synthesized of the RBC under the bone marrow region. And the third one is the infiltrate, third one is the infiltrate antigen present in the blood or the involvement of the immoral and mediated immunity. Okay, and third secondary important is the name of the M A L T. M A L T, which means M means mucus or mucosa, and A means associated. L means lymphoid. T means tissue. Mucosa associated lymphoid tissues. It is called a M A L T. Which a particular functions of M A L T or mucosa associated with the lymphoid tissue. They are the lymph node or Dispersed, ah, dispersed, ah, dispersed to the in the various region of the body, like a the alimentary canal, okay, it is an alimentary canal, and they have the respiratory tract, and also the urinogenital tract also, okay. So mucosa associated to the lymphoid node, they are along with the 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 lymphoid node or a particular function of the immunity of the lymphoid node. The dispersed to the the various region to the like a body parts. So under the body part, there especially elementary canal like a digestive system and a respiratory system and the excretory system. So under the digestive system, it is the name of the elementary canal and the respiratory system under the name of the respiratory tract and the excretory system under the name of the urinogenital tract. Okay, here the main three things are involved of the the mucosa associated. The lymphoid tissue and another particular function of the mucosa associated with the lymphoid tissue. There are the tissue which is present inside of the tube. It is known as the MLT. It is the tube, the alimentary canal. Alimentary canal, which means it is look like a tube and tra respiratory tract. Tract which is under the, it is look like a tract. Okay, na tract ya. Okay, here it is. And uh, urinogenital tract, which means it is the excretory tract of the you. Urinary genital tract. So under the tract, there are the modification of the tissue level. So that's why we can call it MLT, mucosa associated with the lymphoid tissue. Okay, understand? Next one, it's a contain of the 50 percent. How much of percent? It's a contain of the uh, contain of the 50 percent of the total lymphoid tissue of the body. Okay, so almost all of the circulatory system, the every part should uh, supply to the blood. So along with the blood, our circulatory system is the help of the lymphatic system. So that's why it is a containing of 50 percent under the body uh, weight or body region of the 50 percent of the the total lymphatic tissues the body region and also the lymphocytes. It's a lymphocytes and along with the macrophages, lymphocytes and along with the ma macrophages. The present in the MLT and it is also inactivated of the bacteria. Here it is the inactivation. Activation means it is a movement, movement and the uh, travel. But it is a lymphatic system help of the immunity, help of the immunity under the human being. So that's why the that's why the the secondary lymphoid organs it is the inactive of bacteria and other vi bacteria, virus, fungal, other microorganisms can. Microorganisms are unknown substances to enter into the human body. It is activated from the secondary lymphoid organ. Can it is a it is a help of or inactive stage of the different type of the bacteria, a virus, and microorganisms. Okay, I am best example. Best example from the secondary lymphoid organs. They are the the various patches into the alimentary canal. Various patches into the alimentary canal into the mucous and membrane. Okay. And the best, best, best example from the secondary lymphoid organ, we are know the uh, to the uh, little bit of knowledge here the tonsils. Okay, so tonsils and the uh, the appendix also tonsils and the appendix also here the secondary lymphoid organ. Best example from the lymphoid secondary lymphoid organs. So here it is a secondary lymphoid organ. This is about the uh, secondary lymphoid organ of our today class. Okay, thank you.